Hey, good morning. It's Kira. Uh, I'm back today to do a fun summer smoky eye. Um, I'm going to do start to finish um, my full face, so I'm not going to jabber on too long. Um, but it's morning time. It's I think it's right around 9-ish. Um, and I'm just going to get started. So um, my face is clean. Um, it did take off all of my makeup. Last night I have a little sleep left in my eyes. Other than that, I'm not wearing any makeup, so let's get started. Um, I'm going to do my eyes first today, um, and then I'm going to just finish off my face. Um, I think I've made it pretty clear by now that, especially in the summer, I don't wear a full face of foundation. Um, I think it feels gross. Um, so I don't do it. Um, but what I do is I moisturize my skin. I'm going to put on eye cream. All the way around. Prevent those crow's feet as long as possible. Um, and then let's get started. So I have numerous palettes. Um, I think I'm going, I'm going to use a couple today. Um, I'm going to use this Tarte Clay Play for some stuff. Uh, um, so there's that, which is a lot of like neutral skin type tones. Um, and then I'm going to, ooh, a classic, break out my Urban Decay Original Naked Palette. Um, and what that's going to give me are my shimmers, which I think are really pretty on a summer eye. Um, if you can hear banging, my neighbors are getting a new roof. Um, so, sorry. What are you going to do? Um, all right. So the first thing that I'm going to do is prime my eyes and you can do this in a couple different ways. You can use a primer. So like I have the Urban Decay Primer Potion in Eden, which is like a skin, my skin tone type color. Um, or you can use concealer. <laughs> uh, I have other concealers, but I really like this Fenty one. So you can do one of two things. I'm going to do the primer potion today. I haven't used it in a while. So you can see it's like concealer colored but it is meant for keeping your eye makeup on um so i'm just gonna rub that in i hope you're all doing really well um things are crazy in the world right now um and i'm not gonna totally get into it but all i can say is there's this thing called the golden rule where you treat others the way you want to be treated. And somehow we forgot. So get your shit together. People not practicing the golden rule. Treat others the way you want to be treated. Obviously there's more things that could contribute to the betterment of the world, but I feel like that's probably a pretty good start. Okay, so let's get down to it. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is find a brush. So I'm going to use a fluffy eyeshadow brush and I'm going to use this Tarte palette and I'm just going to go with a tan-ish color that's a couple shades darker than my skin tone. So you can adjust this, obviously, based on your skin tone. Um, and this palette is pretty sweet as far as versatility um, through all different skin tones. So what I'm doing right now is just putting that color through my crease. So extending it just a touch but keeping it pretty well in my crease and then I'm going to take the color sand from the same palette 
which is this color, which is honestly probably almost my skin tone, and just put it on the brow bone. I don't like a shimmery brow bone at all, so I don't do that. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I have that color in my crease, and that's a start. Um, next, I'm going to take a color that is a few shades darker than my skin tone. So this is a building process. This one is called Stone. I'm going to use this one right here. And I'm going to get that on the same brush and focus this right on the outer corner. Just like that. So hopefully you can see the difference. Lighting is being weird today. Um, as I'm figuring this all out, it all evolves and get better. But I'm really trying not to worry about fallout because I don't have anything that is preventing me from literally washing the rest of my face again once this eye makeup is done. So that's where we're at. This is just the start. You may look a little crazy right now. I don't think it looks too bad. Um, but this is my start. So now I'm going to grab my Naked palette. Um, so this is where I get into my shimmers. I'm going to grab first Half Baked, which is this really pretty goldy color on the same brush. <laughs> um, and I'm going to sweep that essentially down the middle of my eye. So um, a good way to think about this part is like, the color of your eye right over the top of where that would be if you shut your eyes. So right in the middle, cover that spot. Now we're getting somewhere, right? And then I'm going to take Dark Horse, which is this color, which is like a brown with gold shimmers, and go on the outside slightly going over the top of that half-baked color. Same color, other eye. See what we're getting at here? Um, okay, then the last thing that I have to address on the top is the inner corner. Now, I think it's really dated and kind of old school. I have a dog here in my mouth. Um, to do the super light color on the inside. Um, a lighter color, like you're not going to go super dark on the inside to close up your eyes, but I think the really light color is a little done. <laughs> That's just my opinion. This is all just my opinion. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sidecar, which is this one right here, which has lots of fun little glitters in it. Um, and I'm going to put that on my inner corner. This one is a mess, so um, just know that you're going to get glitter fallout below. But we'll clean it up on the other side. Hopefully you can see that. Okay, that's the top. Now, we're not going to use this big fluffy brush. At least I am not. So if I get too low underneath my eyes with makeup, I look like a drug addict. It does not look cute. I look tired and strung out and it's not cute. I watch girls on YouTube who can literally go to here with their eye makeup and it looks bomb. I'm just not that person. Know your face. Adjust. <laughs> uh, so I use a brush like this. So it's just a little stubby soft brush with like a nice thin top. Or, yeah, thin tip. I'm going to first grab this color that I started with and do my whole lash. Well, not my whole lash line. I would say I'm doing two thirds. Just like that. See, I look icky. Um, <laughs> but I'll fix it. Then I'm gonna grab Half Baked, which is that goldy color, and do the middle, the maybe like a third, like the middle third, not too far in, not too far out. And then I'm gonna grab Dark Horse, this dark one, and do, 
outside there. Like that. Make sure they somewhat match. Yes. Yeah. Okay. That's the eyeshadow part. Now I'm going to take a makeup wipe. And if I can get it out. And I'm going to wipe underneath. Don't get too close to your bottom lash line, otherwise the work that you just did. See what I had on my face? Ugh. Um, all the work I just did, I would wipe off. I don't want to do that. So that's that. Then I'm going to take... I'm not doing a wing liner today. I'm going to take a... Black eyeliner. Where's my black eyeliner? Dang it. <laughs> oh, it's right here. I'm going to take my black eyeliner by NYX. This is the same one that I use um, on my Easy Wing Liner. I'm going to take my mirror right here and very gently pull it up and tight line. I always feel like I know I'm doing it right if it feels like I'm literally just coloring on my lashes, but I can see a little bit of color appearing on that waterline. And then I do the bottom just a little bit. Like that. Then let's deal with complexion. Complexion. A little bit. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put now this. Um, I would not skip concealer on because you are drawing attention to your eyes, so you want pretty skin around it. Um, I feel like everybody can kind of benefit from that. I washed my brushes. What? Um, this is a contour brush by Real Techniques. Don't tell me what to do with my brushes. Um, as you get familiar with your brushes, use them for whatever you want. Um, this makes a really nice, quick, easy rub my concealer and kind of brush. like this okay um yeah I do have a couple um I have like a little blemish next to my nose that I can see so I'll just touch that up otherwise I think I'm good I'm not gonna do anything too crazy so now um, I promise we're going to finish the eyes with eyebrows and mascara because that's crazy if we didn't. But I want to finish the rest of my complexion and then I want to do the rest of my eyes. So, um, actually what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to this Tarte palette because it is for eyes and face. And I'm going to use the color that we started off with, Desert. I don't think I said what it was called. It doesn't really matter. But this color that's a couple shades darker than my skin. And I'm going to use this same contour brush, except I'm gonna use it for what they told me it was for. Now, if you are like, if you are somebody who uses, you know, two pumps of foundation all over your face, I would not recommend then putting powder on that brush after you've done that because you're gonna have a muddy, disgusting mess. I don't use much concealer, so this really just pushed it around on my face. Um, and there's not really any residue on the brush. So all the same places that I would typically do my um, Charlotte Tilbury, um, but today I'm just gonna go right with powder, kind of bronze up the face. Then I am going to use, ooh, I know what I'm gonna use. Um, I'm going to use a little blush today. 
which I don't do all the time. Um, but I feel like it today. So this is also by NYX. Um, and this is called Hamptons. It's a high definition blush. And it's like this pretty peachy color. And we use a blush brush. I'm like shoving my words together. And it's crazy. So just right on my cheeks. Put that on there for a nice little flush. And then I'm gonna use my Urban Decay Space Powder. Oh, there's a brush on the bottom. <laughs> I just learned something new. So it's this like gold with micro glitter. Put that on my blush brush. Put that right on my cheekbone. So we did that sidecar color or whatever color you chose. Um, sidecar has these same like micro glitters. So now instead of having them falling all over my under eyes looking weird, I just placed it on my cheekbones and it's pretty. So that's complexion. Then I'm gonna do my eyebrows real quick. Um, I'm using that Maybelline Tattoo Studio um, pomade type product. Um, and I did tint my eyebrows this week. Um, so that's probably, that's why they look like there's more of them. Um, I have some eyebrow hairs. I mean, they're still pretty sparse, um, but what my issue is that I tint them for is they're like clear. Um, and it just makes my life a lot easier if I'm dealing with one issue with my eyebrows, i.e. the lack of hair rather than the color of the hair. So I tint them. Um, maybe someday I will do a video on how I do that. It's super easy. And way cheaper to just do it yourself than pay to have it done. Especially if you don't need like your eyebrows threaded or something. Um, it's way easier just to tend to my home yourself than like the occasional stray you can just pluck out. Not a big deal. I really don't get the occasional stray, unfortunately. I feel like I would like nurture it trying to get it to like grow friends. Um, okay, so the last thing that I need to do is mascara. So as you can tell, I did not really do any liner. I just did this height liner, um, which is when I put the black underneath. Um, because of that, and because I'm not wearing false lashes today, I'm going to curl my lashes. I have the Surratt um, eyelash curler. Seems to be a pretty good shape for my eyes. That's one thing. It's not just a brand thing. It's a shape thing. So, um, it may take you a couple tries to get the right eyelash curler, but I really like this one. I am clearly very Caucasian. I have almondish shaped eyes. Um, hooded eyes, which is a thing with eyelash curlers. I have pinched the shit out of my eyelids and it hurts so bad. <laughs> Um, using the wrong eyelash curler, but um, this one's good. All of that to say this one's good. And it really doesn't matter because everyone's eyes are shaped different. I'm using the Hourglass Caution Extreme Lash Mascara. And I'm just gonna liberally pop that on. Someday I'll learn how to edit. And you won't have to sit and watch this. However, if it gets to the point where I'm editing and doing like cool transitions and inserting clips and doing all that kind of stuff, I have unsubscribed to a lot of people lately because they are getting way too professional with this. Guys, I want to watch you in your bathroom doing your makeup. That's why we started doing this. I don't need it to be a television show. I have TV for that. Just my opinion. So I'm just putting a little bitty bit on my bottom lashes. 
and that's it. Um, the last thing that I would do, and I don't even think I have any up here to do it with, would be um, lip gloss. Um, just a really simple lip gloss. Maybe I can use, maybe I can use this, the Ciate Dewy Sticks. Yeah, that feels good. Yeah. So that's it. Um, this is my summer smoky eye. Super easy, super low maintenance. If it smudges and like gets lived in, it still looks good. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, uh, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you wanna stick around. Um, and I hope that you have an awesome weekend. Remember the golden rule, treat others the way you want to be treated, love one another. That is it. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye.